Who always takes the direct approach, leaping boldly and blindly into situations no matter how reckless it might seem? Who is it that is always asked to slow down, watch your temper, and sit tight because they cannot wait for the next adventure? Ares answers the call. Legend has it that Ares relates to the myth of the Golden Fleece, a holy grail for Greek heroes looking to become king. A terrible drought sweeps the land because of the marital issues between the goddess Nephili and the great king Athamas. They bear two children, but as the marriage becomes rocky, Nephili creates a drought. Afterwards, the king's human mistress commands sacrifice of one of his children to appease Nephili and to reverse her curse. So to prevent the siblings of Phrixus and Hell from being needlessly harmed, Nephili appears to her two children with a winged ram whose fleece was of gold for an epic escape. The siblings climbed onto the beast and took flight. But tragedy would strike en route. Hell loses her grip and falls from the speeding ram into the sea below. The ram spoke to Phrixus, who was unable to save his sister, inspired the courage to continue. When Phrixus was brought to his final destination, he returned the ram to Poseidon by the method of sacrifice. This golden winged ram was very dear to Poseidon, who had carefully crafted the beast from his own loins. Happy to see the ram had succeeded in his mission, Poseidon immortalizes the ram in the stars as the constellation Ares. The fleece was left on a branch and guarded by a dragon for another hero, Jason of the Argonauts, to teach another story of courage and determination. The backbone and head of the constellation are comprised of four stars in Ares. Mesarthim, Sheraton, and Hamal in various languages represent rams and also the start of the vernal equinox. As such, this is the reason why Ares is igniting the advance and beginning our astrology series. Classically, this planet is governed by Mars and is depicted by the god of war, which provides Ares a number of courageous and confrontational qualities. Ares prefers to start their day with activity and benefits from an exercise plan that can help heat up the body and prepare it for the challenges of the day. Energetic and full of life, Ares maintains a jovial spirit, and his enthusiasm is certainly contagious. However, they are clumsy and not known for their grace. Naturally competitive and eager to face off against foes, Ares stays off the ropes, preferring instead to kick down the doors and push through whatever obstacles are in his way. Activity and life are the hallmark of this sign, who likes to stay busy and are often attracted to activities that are larger than life, such as theater. The gripping and dramatic nature of expressing the self is a powerful passion for Aries. If focus can lead to skills that can help shape him into a musician, the expressive nature within art can also be a draw, but the meaning behind these activities is to help slow Aries down and focus that fiery and adventurous nature. Spontaneity will inspire many an Aries to take road trips and find adventure for themselves. Often the first one with the idea, Aries might recklessly have everyone on the road before anyone was finished packing. This restless and eager energy makes boredom and patience their kryptonite. One other trouble spot might make them seem self-centered and uninterested in other people, but they are driven headfirst toward their own goals and desires. Caution is not the Aries way, and many are prone to bumps, bruises, head injuries, but they are also durable and can withstand a lot of punishment. As Aries is driven to improve, and has remained fearless in the face of danger, he is tempered and shaped by life's challenges and uncertainties. As he matures, he grows more confident in himself and learns that he can be of service to others. He remains honest and trustworthy and willing to quest to find and fulfill his purpose. Through developing compassion, patience, and wisdom, Ares becomes the leader that the world needs him to be, like a king without a castle.